All right, so let me show you how you can compress a file um, before sending it, sending it to your backend, for example, when one of your users uploads a file. So first, in your plugins, you'll want to add the NPM plugin and look for compressor JS. Oops, JS. So search for this. It's the one uh, by Chen Feng Wan, and you can add it here. Just save this here, and you're good to go. And the documentation for this library, in case you need it, is right here. So I will link to this in the post. But I'll try to give you a rundown of how you can make it work in WeWeb. So now, on your input file element, you can create a workflow. Uh, so here, let me go to preview mode and upload a file. So stream plus. OK, I'll just leave that as is for now. OK, so if I go back here, I can see that my, so here, file URLs, compression. OK, so I reset that variable. Um, I don't care about this. Let me delete this. Now, I have some custom JavaScript here. And I will add, I will share the code with you. But the idea is here you have a function to compress files. And here, you want to make sure that this is the value of the file, the object of the file. So if I go and look here, I have an array with one item, and I want to bind it to this. So I want the variable that I want here, I want to replace it here by this value, so the object of the file that was just uploaded. So if you're working with a multiple upload, you might need to add a loop here to iterate on the loop, to iterate on the array. In the custom uh, JS, so in the in the function in the JavaScript code to uh, compress the file, you want to make sure that here it's you are referring to an object, so the file object which is here. So not the array, which may include several objects, but the objects itself. Now I'm just going to copy paste this uh, here because I need it again here. There we go. And I, uh, I should be good to go. All right. Let me go back to my logs, clear this, and try this. OK. So now you see that this file um, was compressed. I mean, I have a new object file. So now I can uh, choose the upload file action, or I could choose the uh, encode file is base 64. Depends on what you want to do. If you want to upload to WeWeb CDN, you can use the upload file action. Otherwise, you can encode as base 64 and then send that object to your backend. Here, for the purposes of this video, we'll use the upload file. And here, instead of selecting the value of the of the um, element of the file upload element, we will bind to the result from the previous action, so the compressed file, the result of our JavaScript. There we go. And I don't need this, so let me remove this. And there you have it. If I test this, boom, I have the URL where the file, the compressed file, is stored. And just to show you, uh, here you see the size is 63072. So if I had done, if I have my upload file here before, so before the compression, and I test this, so it's the same file. It's taking a little bit of time to upload. You see here that the size is much bigger. So you can. Um, you know, you can adjust this. Here we chose to compress. You know, we have this quality, the max width, max height. Uh, again, you can refer to 
the documentation from um, from the library to to learn how to um, yeah to work with that library in particular particular and achieve the results you want. I hope that helps. If not, let me know.